She is known for being a child prodigy with exceptional musical talent from a young age. She was encouraged and supported in her musical education by her musician parents. Her name is Lily Boulanger. In the bustling streets of Paris, a child prodigy named Lily Boulanger was born with a gift that would shape the world of music. From a tender age of two, her melodies filled the air as she sang by ear, capturing the hearts of those around her. Raised in a family of musicians, her parents recognized her extraordinary talent and nurtured her musical education. Her mother, Raisa Mishetskaya, a Russian princess, had married Ernest Boulanger, a renowned composer and winner of the prestigious Prix de Rome. Lily's father, despite his age, formed a deep bond with his daughter. And it wasn't long before Lily began accompanying her older sister Nadia to classes at the Paris Conservatoire, even before she turned five. Within the hallowed halls of the Conservatoire, Lily's thirst for knowledge knew no bounds. She eagerly sat in on music theory classes and studied the organ with the esteemed Louis Bjorn. And her musical talents extended far beyond her voice, she played the piano, violin, cello, and even the harp. Under the guidance of gifted teachers like Marcel Tournier and Alphonse Hasselmans, Lily honed her skills on the harp, while Madame Helene Chamat and Fernand Lukin imparted their wisdom on the piano and violin, respectively. Hashtag paragraph underscore break hashtag as Lily Boulanger grew older, her remarkable compositions began to captivate the world of classical music. One of her most significant works, Paiesu, a stunningly beautiful and deeply moving sacred choral piece, remains a testament to her prodigious talent. This composition not only showcased her exceptional ability to compose haunting melodies but also demonstrated her profound understanding of harmony and emotion. Another notable composition by Lily was Psalm 130, also known as Du Fond de Elabime or De Profundis. In this piece, she explored the depths of human suffering and spirituality, weaving a tapestry of sorrow and hope through her intricate melodies and poignant harmonies. It is a composition that continues to leave audiences in awe of her musical prowess. Lily Boulanger's compositions and her ability to convey deep emotions through music solidified her place as a legendary figure in the world of classical music. Her tragically short life may have been cut short by illness, but her impact on the field of music remains immeasurable. Her dedication to her craft and her profound ability to touch the hearts of listeners continue to inspire generations of musicians, reminding us of the transformative power of music. In the early 20th century, Lily Boulanger found herself navigating a changing musical landscape. As the world moved away from the Romantic era, Boulanger's compositions seamlessly blended into the emerging post-Romantic style. Like her contemporary, Debussy, she aligned herself with symbolism, infusing her music with a sense of obscurity and indirection that was characteristic of the movement. However, Boulanger also incorporated elements of Impressionism, experimenting with non-functional seventh and ninth chords, parallel chords, and modal progressions. Hashtag continue hashtag Boulanger's music not only reflected the broader societal shifts of the time but also revealed her own personal struggles. Throughout her life, she battled with depression and loneliness brought on by a chronic illness. This internal turmoil found expression in her compositions, which often featured texts that conveyed a profound sense of hopelessness and sadness. In her piece, Domain Farah Unan, she pointedly captured this despair with lines such as, Nothing more. I have nothing more, nothing to sustain me, and, I seem to feel a weeping within me, a heavy, silent sobbing, someone who is not there. Hashtag continue hashtag despite the emotional weight of her music, Boulanger's compositions also showcased her immense talent in musical innovation. She fearlessly explored new harmonic possibilities, pushing the boundaries of traditional tonality. Her use of dissonance and unconventional chord progressions added depth and complexity to her works, captivating audiences and critics alike. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.